final number two. And it will be Moldova's Aaron Cook against Milad Beji Harchigani of Azerbaijan. Ranked number four in the world, Aaron Cook. Well, the double European champion. He's won a junior worlds before, back in his Great Britain days. There can't be many that don't know the story, but Cook then became naturalised to Moldova after a selection controversy in London Olympics. Disappointment for him in Rio, a long time ago now. And it's now down to business for the man from Moldova. Luke Cook walked in by his older brother. And it is a chance for Team Cook to try and get themselves into a World Championship final. A bronze medal in Chelyabinsk, Russia, 2015. Well, Beji Harchigani himself naturalised to Azerbaijan, so the international nature of Olympic sport. Cook from Manchester fighting from Moldova. Harchigani from Isafan in Iran fighting for Azerbaijan, where he took a bronze medal at the Olympic Games. And indeed, as you can see at the Islamic Solidarity Games in Baku, his hometown now took the gold to match his European Championship victory. So evenly matched in terms of athletic pedigree. But will it be a spot in the final from Moldova or for Azerbaijan? There's Cook's route through. Couldn't have been much closer in that semi-final against Zhengkwai. And a more routine route through for Beji Haljigani. Luis Drojic Mendoza. The referee from Rio, which incidentally is where the mats are from. Both men were on those mats in Rio. Both men looking for a different result here at the World Championships in Muju. Cook in blue, Haljigani in red. Respect between the two. Archigani, by far the taller at six foot six. six. Cook, relatively smaller at five foot eleven. Can Archigani use that? There's the punch from Cook on the way through. Walks into the headshot from Archigani. Step in with the back kick there. Back leg double. Good spin from Aaron Cook on the way through there. Archigani sees it coming. Punch there from the man from Moldova. Tries the double on the way through. Beji Archigani. The master of holding the centre of the mat. And he holds a three-point lead here. Harchigani so imposing. That physicality, that push kick. Tries to get Cook to step off to the side of the mat. But Aaron Cook, well, he can rely on his footwork to try and save him up here. Good punch and double on the way through. Well, the tactics evident here for the youngster. Harchigani walks into a little hook kick there. Well blocked by the Aziri. It's a real impasse now. Hachigani, so patient. Cook, normally explosive, but saving it up here. A three-point gap. By virtue of that headshot, hook kick underneath there from Aaron Cook. Beji Hachigani, so imposing. And he's got great explosive quickness that belies his six-foot-six six frame. Hard to do that when you're under 80 kilograms. Tries with a big double. Good back kick attempt from Cook. Signs that his timing is beginning to come to fruition. Speaking of time, last 20 seconds in this one. Hachigani on the front foot, looking for the Gamjon. Gets the push kick to the body instead. Five point gap, Aaron Cook points down. In favour of Hachigani, who's pushing forward, tries with the reverse there, does well to stay in, walks into the headshot and takes a Gamjon. And Beji Hachigani on form here. Well, there is no points gap in the semis. Footwork at a premium from Aaron Cook. He's been caught in the headlights and in the face by Beji Harchigani. The big man from Azerbaijan 
from the Gilan Taekwondo Club. Won the European Games, the inaugural European Games in Baku. Well, Luke Cook audibly saying, try the other stance. The reason for that, walks into that front leg. Cook did well to take it, testament to his fitness and temerity, but it was the timing of Harchigani that makes the difference. Perceptibly so on the scoreboard, nine points up. And all points in favour so far of Azerbaijan's Beji Harchigani. Four good wins to this point. Brothers in the corner. Let's see what they've cooked up. The customary show of respect from Pidge Archigani. Always easy to do when you're nine points ahead. Can Aaron Cook find something special here? Throwing caution to the wind a little bit here. Good punch from Cook on the way through. That scores. Good body shot as well from Hachigani. There's the front leg chop kick motioned by Mohamed Reza, the Aziri coach. Looking for a bit of a motion there. Good fake from Hachigani as he takes the centre of the mat. That physicality and distance. So hard for Aaron Cook to find a way through here. There's a good push kick to the body, switches off, gets picked off. And it's a 12-point gap now for Hatchigani. Tries with the big chop kick over the shoulder. Will it be the Gamjon for Cook? And indeed for Hatchigani. I think an elbow to the face, perhaps. Unintentional. I think he's going to need the one-minute injury break here. Had a previous shot to the nose, a broken nose indeed at the President's Cup in Athens just a few months ago at the end of May. So I think a little elbow to the nose there. So a pre-existing injury. Unintentional from Harjigani. But despite the lack of intent, it still stings. Let's have a little look here. Just a It was a shoulder. Unintentional. Still stings. But the most painful thing is the scoreboard at the moment for Harjigani. 18 points to two. And it is a relative procession for Beji Hatchigani at the moment. Can Aaron Cook summon something special up here? Well, he falls to the deck. And he's up against it here. Leg weary, battered and bruised. And the gam joint will help Hatchigani even more. 17 point gap. And the big man from Baku looking good value at the moment. Aaron Cook changing stance. Looking down the barrel here of Hatchigani. Can he fake and draw a response from Beji, he cannot, he falls to the mat again, another Gamjon, so Aaron Cook up against it here, tough times for the man from Moldova, back kick stepping through, Hachigani in the driving seat, good value for it, very composed from Beji Hachigani, push kick to the body, scores again, Cook tries with a double, nothing doing, Better pushing kicks there from Cook. Tries with a double of his own. Hedjigani tries with the headshot. Good turning kick there on the way through as well. Well, it's bad to worse from Cook here. 26 point lead. And a smack in the nose for your troubles. Still plenty of time left in the second as well. Or overall, I should say, not in the second because we've come to the end of it. Beji Hachigani strolls off, and rightly so, more than meriting this lead. Very calm and composed in the corner for the Rio Olympic Games bronze medalist. Aaron Cook is going to need, well I could just about hear his brother saying, can you go for, well it's a sandwich kick that he used famously before go for the chop kick over the shoulder and try and trap the head of Hachigani so it's a puncher's chance to use a boxing analogy looking for a knockout because the scores are hugely in favour of Beji Hachigani Cook exhausted 
but has he exhausted every possibility here? Beji Harchigani, looking good value for this one. Here we go, third round of the semi-final number two in the minus 80 kilogram grouping. Cook tries with a big spin kick up to the head. If and doubt, throw caution to the wind. And he tried it. Can't fault him for intensity. He tries the reverse turning kick. Falls over for it. And it's going to be Gamjohn number five. He's at the halfway house here. Five more and he's out. But he's down and out as it is anyway. Hachigani under a bit of pressure. Cook's fighting spirit. The Gamjohn given for, for pushing. The score after that Gamjohn. The referee had shouted Calio, which means to stop. Two points were added on. And Luke Cook is asking for those points to be invalidated because he had said Calio. Now, it will make very little difference on the scoreboard, but it will give Aaron Cook a bit of a respite here to try and think of a way to get through here. Luke Cook throwing in the card. Well, is it all over bar the shouting here? Beji Hachigani. The referee shouted Calio here. The two points scored there. So it was two points after the command of stop. Will it be successful? Well, if anyone can, Cook can. We know he's got that knockout power, but to catch Beji Harjigani, standing at 1 metre 97, will it be the real Hail Mary shot? Well, the referees club, to the consternation of Cook, they believe that it was perfectly legitimate, irrespective, makes a very little difference on the scoreboard now. Cook trying to go with the doubles on the inside, giving Hachigani lots of trouble, giving himself plenty of trouble too. It's going to be seven Gamjons. Well, he's 36 2 down now. There's no more room for anything. There's a shot underneath for Cook. He's going to take the Gamjon for holding. He's trying to get a leverage here. Punching through on the inside, Hachigani doing well, looking composed. Nine Gamjons here, is it going to be a disqualification? Hachigani opens up with a double kick of his own and Cook is really up against it now. If, it, if he wasn't already, it's either going to be a Gamjon or a point gap. And it is the push kick, can Aaron Cook find something? Tries with a big spin, goes for another one. Help Chigani goes with the shot underneath. Well, no shortage of effort from Aaron Cook. And Hart Chigani. Good value for this one. Well, don't adjust your sets. That is the score. 36 point gap. Beji Hart Chigani trying to work for that last game, John, as we get into the last minute. And there it is. Well, he gave it plenty. A credit worthy effort. Aaron Cook gamely applauds Beji Hart Chigani. They fought well but by a very, very significant margin, Hachigani gets it done and also saves himself a little bit of energy for the final. Aaron Cook will take the bronze medal and Beji Hachigani will go against Anton Kotkov for the gold. Well, exhausted and dejected, couldn't have given it any more. Beji Hachigani well, total, total contrast, calm and composed. Worked hard all the way through. Accurate to the end. And a more than deserved winner there. Beji Hachigani from Azerbaijan into the final. Cook with the bronze, but it will be this man here going for gold. Calmness personified. Here's confirmation for you. 